Hey guys, it's Jimmy Nair, and welcome back to another anime reaction. Today, we're reacting to episode 3 of The Villainous at level 99. That is right. If you guys did not know, last week we reacted to episode 2. In that episode, we get to see our girl use somewhat of her full strength. And it was so funny because of the fact that she literally summoned a black hole over the whole capital. And you gotta keep in mind, this wasn't her full potential. And it was so funny because yesterday I saw like a bunch of clips on YouTube like The Villainous level 99's full potential, nunny? Like all that stuff. And we know for a fact that she did not use her full potential because she even states that hey i'm not gonna use my full strength because that might be bad so i'm gonna use a good sum of it but not all of it so i wonder what the full potential of her black hole could be could it destroy a continent who knows i'd be very interested to figure that out and i wonder if the level goes past 99 that's another thing too there's like so many questions i'm so excited to see what happens because we left off of our girl doing that right whole black hole home capital Prince takes responsibility because he, he said, oh yeah, if, I don't, if you do something, I'll take responsibility for it. And the shock and realization of him seeing that her full powers is so scary that I'm curious to see like, will the capital go after her or what will exactly happen with our girl next now that she's something to black over a black hole over the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited to get into this. So if you guys enjoy my anime reaction here today, make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, send me some future anime reactions. And of course I will be breaking this down for YouTube. So if you do want the full-length reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon, get full-length reactions, exclusive anime reactions, and so much more. And for right now, though, let's get into it. It's like we're resuming off the fact that she just summoned the black hole and stuff like that. Oh yeah, the day after the black hole. Okay, gotcha. Looks like an audience of the king, bro. You know, things they're gonna go really good or really south really fast, dude. This is definitely this anime definitely has one of the best openings this season. Like the music's so good, the animation looks really good with it. I don't think it's the best opening, but I think it has the best music by far. If that makes sense. <laughs> So much gossip about her in the royal capital right now. I like the background music. The background music is kind of eerie with the kingdom. Some weird audio bug, it sounds like, in the background of the track. I can't tell if it's the website or it's the actual, like, thing. I think it's just the actual background. Or an internet bug. The king does apologize and bowed his head, nani. しかし外れなことをして周りに迷惑をおかけしましたいやそなたの力を確かめもせず一方的な決めつけで球団するのは道理が通らないことだしかしこんな華奢な御令状のレベルが九十九とは信じがたいのもまた事実そこで我が騎
you can only equip one amulet at a time. There's amulet of growth, an amulet of protection. And of course, she's using the one for growth, and usually protection would be better. But uh, then calling monsters on top of it, it's kind of like a nightmare for people. So what's she doing? Is it normal? はい。陛下の進化の一人として、バルシャン王国の盾となる所存でございます。愛分かった。So she's quite smart. Even the king will probably realize that that she just wants a peaceful light. <laughs> That's so funny. If any of the reason she wants to leave or she doesn't like the situation, she's like dip at any point. And if she gets entangled with the king's affair, she'll just get chained down by the kingdom. I like your thought process on that. It's adorable. I love the chibi style. I love it when they mix anime with like a normal style with a chibi style. It's just so playful and fun. That's the best part about these kind of things. Yeah, I getting bad vibes off this. あなたのことを気に入っているのよ。ありがとうございます。ユビエラさんは権力を持つのを面倒に思っているみたいね。でも頭が切れるようだし。もしあなたが野心家だったらと想像するとずっとするわ。あの、どうしてそこまで信用していただけるのですか。欲のないふりをして王族に近づく貴族も多いですからね。自然と違いがわかるようになったのよ。So the reason why they're so trusted there because she's not being getting close to the prince at all. And that's a byproduct of why they're like show of her more than more people because usually people who are nobles will get close to the the royals so that way they can be a part of the family later but for her trying to not be part of that it's like good for them ただこんなことを言うのは申し訳ないのだけれど、あなたが魔王を倒してしまうのは王国としては喜ばしいことではないのよ。それは王家の正当性が揺らぐということですか？そう、先ほども言った通り、魔王を倒すのは王家のもので
Maybe the king and queen know like how much of a piece she is, like how good in a position she is. And like, it looks like they want her to be in the best position possible for peace. But at the same time too, they also want her to somewhat get attached to the kingdom to be a part of the kingdom in some way that benefit them. But it isn't all with ill intent, it seems like rather rip. So it seems like they have the best intentions for her. But uh, they will be interested in seeing things, how things play out. But looks like everyone around her though has become a lot more sure of her after the whole uh, king and king, queen. And of course, everyone's gonna get on her good side now, but she doesn't particularly care. Why does she make him make a shock face to her girl? They got a scolding from the royal capital and stuff like that and stuff, so they had to apologize to her so that way they don't like be rude to her upon like you know, fuse their attachments. What the hell is going on here? Oh, interesting. So it looks like the other faction is like the anti king faction is like trying to provide her with rewards, goods, and all that jazz for her to join their side. But the, the king's faction is just being show of her and just having small talk with them and anything about politics. That's actually quite surprising on my part. But then again, it would be in their best interest to be show of her. Yeah, shut him down real fast, Bao. Damn! He got- Dude, that is the best comeback and come up. I only date people who are stronger than me. No one's gonna be able to date her then. Damn. She's got him by the throat. Dude, literally, he literally spoiled the whole thing of him trying to take over the kingdom. And literally, she held such a power spot right there. And she said, I'll let you slide if you don't come near me again. Dude, she held such a power spot. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is the tyrant? Are they anti-king faction? I don't like this is where this is going. If she's a tyrant, she's the villain as what's going to happen between the chemistry. Is it going to be really good or really bad? I haven't seen now. <laughs> bro, she doesn't like small. She probably can't handle small talk over the girls, bro. What? Oh, she's not listening. She's using basic remarks in order to get her to talk more and enjoy herself. She's a chatterbox. Dude, I do that sometimes with people I'm talking to. I'll just use simple responses for them to come out and talk, let them do their thing, and then I'll just usually ignore what they say most times around, but I'll keep paying to some main factors. <laughs> Bro, she's so easy to pull. And everyone out here is just not even surprised, bro. It's so funny. Oh, what's going on? Alice is here? Oh, are you the demon lord? Interesting. That's an interesting take. That's a random off episode? 
that was the villainous at level 99 episode 3 dude it was so good i love how we go to the capital now after the whole incident it's been a day after the whole like black hole incident the king queen summoner and they're trying to get on our good side of course because like if you have somebody who's that freaking powerful in your kingdom you have two different options one don't piss them off that's the first option and the second option is try to work with them you know what i'm saying that's your only two options because the person with that much power is in such a power spot that literally if you do something wrong they can negatively or positively impact your kingdom and i love how they notice that so they test their strength by having the guy as a knight and supposedly in the game he's like level 70 when he versus the demon king which is pretty strong because we know you had to be like level above 60 or 70 there on the verse of demon king in the first place and so he tests his circuit she literally just bows when like gets the ground bowels and stuff like that and evades that attack so easily and he's just not he, he's like dude i'm sorry i don't want to attack you but the king's orders of course hopefully understand because a little like no one wants to piss her off like no one wanted to make her mad because that'd be the worst case scenario so he's just making sure like she knows like yo i know no no one no hate you know what i'm saying but even the king and queen are like, oh my god, she's this powerful. Like, hey, do you want to be a mayor of son? She's like, psych? No, absolutely freaking not. And the reason why she's saying no to all the other stuff is too, is because like, what she wants is a peaceful life, not get involved with the main party whatsoever, let her do her own thing, right? And she has so much power too, because she has so much strength. Oh, so fun. But she, the way they make sure she doesn't get involved in that way, he doesn't get chained down to the kingdom because she wants to dip at any given point so if she doesn't like the state of the kingdom or she doesn't want to deal people or some other reason she can always gtfo and if she was to take something from them she, she would be chained down but the king queen do seem to have some good intent behind them but they also do want some stuff for their kingdom at the same time because even like when they were talking about it like she's such in a position that she has no real people to be attached to she has no enemies no allies um and she's been kind of just learning her own thing and she has so much strength that a lot of people from a different factions are gonna look at her and be like oh my god this is literally the trump card if we get our, if we get our hands on this card we instantly win you know what I'm it's like having all five pieces of exodia but it'll literally all on the table and you just have the like man single something for the exodia it's just like yeah she's just such a power spot but i find it so funny that people are starting to come up to her and stuff and from the anti-king faction they're all talking to her about like hey here's some goods and stuff we can offer you and you give us their power and stuff like that and some of them are just stupid like that guy he literally just said hey i want to do this this and that they go over the whole kingdom and all that jazz and then you know first of all she's like yeah i'd rather, I'd rather just not also i only date people who are stronger than me like damn damn she got him good she got him so good with that and he's like oh okay I, 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 you know we can you marry me i'm still really smart you like and then she says i'm hiring you on the test and damn that's that's a roast if i i think that's what she said correct me if i'm wrong but she said that i'm like damn bro you're not winning dude you're not winning this fight and then the lay down the trump card she says oh yeah this whole conversation about you and the king's faction and stuff like that so you mean you want to manage all the kings combine all the units and stuff like that and cook ally with different countries right yeah yeah, yeah i want to do that uh, you, you do realize though as a bipoc that you are betraying the kingdom he's like hmm and she's like how about this how about you go away we don't talk about this again and i won't report it to you she held the f u card oh crap 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 well, that hurt like hell. Uh, anyways, but she held the F2 card so hard on that guy that he could not do squat, dude. This episode is so freaking good, dude. And just to end it off, that episode with, what was it? They ended off saying, are you the Demon King? Because Alice is at this point, he keeps making these weird faces to her. I can only make two assumptions. One, because Alice is a light user and she's a dark user at the max level, that she might look like a monster to her. Or maybe the second option is that she irradiates such a powerful dark aura around her that most people can't see unless you're a light user that's the only two options but it'll be interesting to see like what the whole chemistry between those two after that conversation is you know what i'm saying i think that's gonna be really really fun because that's gonna be like hey is it gonna be a byproduct for her saying that you know what i'm saying we also do now know that the other girl the blonde chick is pretty chill with our girl and she's so easy like the manage because she just wants the king and stuff like that not king uh Ed edrew and she doesn't want to be bothered with them and she's like how about you take how about i don't how about we can be friends you can go do after andrew i think andrew's more suited for you and she was so easy to sway with just that one remark and it was just so good dude this episode was so fun i'm so excited for next week's episode if you guys enjoy my reaction here today 
make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to send me some future anime reactions because next week we'll be reacting to this again and i am looking forward to it dude until then have a great day g-man out